So a couple of weeks ago I was doing a hotel review on Sukhumvit Soy 13 here in Bangkok and in the comments someone said why don't you try another hotel which is much better and cheaper it's on Sukhumvit Soy 19. So here I am at the SQ Boutique Hotel and I'm going to try it out. So straight away let's talk about the price and I thought the fairest way was to look at the next three months on Agoda and these are the starting prices for the SQ Boutique Hotel. You can see that it's not actually any cheaper, it's actually a little bit more expensive than the hotel I was staying in for the same dates on Sukhumvit Soy 13. But let's have a look whether it's better or not. Well to my taste it's definitely more appealing to the eye, beautiful smell when I walked into the room and the decor is modern and light and airy. There's no balcony here but you have got a nice view out onto some parkland or greenery. Of course there's a flat screen TV on the wall and tea and coffee making facilities, nice large mugs there. You've got somewhere to hang up your clothes, bathrobes, complimentary slippers, laundry bag and of course an in-room safe. The air conditioning was quiet, it was also very cold, operated from the wall switch. You can try it out, well it's modern decor as I said. You've got tissues, you can get an in-room massage and you can get benefits from their reward program. Inside the bathroom you've got a nice toilet and bum gun, you've got a ram basin there, you've got sufficient towels, you've also got a hair dryer, you've got all the things that you would expect, nice modern tiles around mirror, walk-in shower, SQ branded shower gel and shampoo. I just wanted to make it say QS for some reason. Shower was strong and hot, nice constant temperature. Moving back into the room you've got a rather funky stool there that you can sit on, you've got an in-room telephone. What's in the fridge? Well you have got two bottles of water placed in there and you have got some coffee and tea. I was on the 8th floor so I took a lift down to the lobby. There is the hotel reception and that is very modern and when you go later it's beautifully lit as you go out onto Sukhumvit Soy 19. They do have a restaurant but it only appears at the moment to be open for breakfast although breakfast was quite good. Time to wake up with that beautiful view, neck curtains and thick curtains kept it nice and dark and quiet. Once again down into the lift and this time into the breakfast room where you do order your main course from a menu. All the different types of eggs come together with bacon and mushroom and sausage. You can also add your own bread and you've got different types of tea there. You've also got vegetables and some lovely cereals which I quite fancied this morning. Yogurts and milk in the fridge. Three or four different types of fruit. And I decided to go for the Frosties, they're great. I like the lighting in the breakfast room, it was very comfortable. The coffee was top class and there was the full English breakfast that I ordered. I also tried out the Wi-Fi in the lobby in the room, that was fast and efficient. And again just a couple of views of the very trendy reception area. Which did give it a very impressive feel. So this hotel does advertise that it has a car park, that's one of the few facilities compared with other hotels. They don't have a swimming pool, they don't have an exercise room, they don't have a meeting room. When I asked where is the car park they said well you're looking at it, you can park outside the hotel. 
So that was the SQ Boutique Hotel on Sukhumvit Soy 19. What did you think about it? So it's got a very good breakfast. The room, well, it's quite small, but the bed was really, really comfortable. They fitted a full-size, king-size bed in there. There's some really nice points to it, but it really boils down to personal choice. If you need to be near to Soy Cowboy, to Terminal 21, to Robinson on Sukhumvit Road, near to Asok BTS and MRT stations, this choice could be for you. On the other hand, if you want to be down further towards Nana or somewhere else in Bangkok, there's plenty of choices. But just to see, make your own comparison with the hotel I reviewed before by looking at this video coming up right now, which was the Holiday Inn Express on Sukhumvit Soy 11. But from me on Sukhumvit 19, bye for now, see you next time, bye bye. Yeah.